Morning class, I'm Will Kemp from Will Kemp Art School and today I'm going to show you how to mix and match colours for a landscape painting. Here it is, let's get going. So the first thing I do is to try and assess the tones that we're looking at to try and decide which colours are going to be best to start off the mix. So for this example video I'm just going to show you how to mix the sky blue, this cloud which is a muted purple, and this area here where the sun is just, you know, coming through and really bursting, making this nice warm feel onto the painting. So we're going to try and match these three colours. I'm going to show you how to do it. So when I'm assessing the blue, you just got to find what colour on the colour wheel is closest to the colour you're trying to match. So this one obviously is the blue. So let's put out some blue and some white. When I'm trying to judge this blue, I'm looking at its value. Value is just how light or how dark something is on a grey scale. So here, when I look at this blue, it is closer to the white than it is to the black. So to try and match it, I'm going to start with some of the white. Blue is always a lot higher tinting strength than the white, so you can just add a small amount. See how I just scrape a bit and then mix that in. Okay, that's still too light. We still need to add a bit more of the blue to it. Okay, we're getting closer in tone, but this blue is too blue. I mean, we could put a bit more blue there, but it's too purpley when we look at it. So to try and knock that back, we're going to have to add something to the blue to make it not as bright. So now I've added some burnt umber. Now this looks very dark. But it's in fact very useful colour because burnt umber has got an orange base to it. The complementary colour of blue is orange, so to mute it down, we need to add a bit of its complement. But instead of using the bright orange, I'm just going to add um, a touch of the burnt umber. You see how that has greyed that tone down. So now that's a lot closer. It might need a bit more of the blue back in it. But if we're getting it quite close, that's a perfect colour to start with. So the next colour we've got down is on this area of the cloud here. Clouds can be tricky to paint because your brain will often tell you that they have to be light and bright and um, all the colours of the rainbow, mostly towards grey. But when we look at a sunset, to really get that contrast, to make this white here of the sun coming through really look bright, you've got to make sure that you go dark enough onto this area of the cloud. So if we look at the local colour of the cloud, we can see that it's a purpley hue in comparison to this blue. So we're going to need something to make a purple. We won't be able to do it with these three colours, so we're going to have to introduce a red. To mix this purple, I'm going to start with a, a bit of the blue, a bit of this red, and then some white. Okay, in terms of its hue, as in its colour, it's quite close to parts of this. You'll see parts of that area there on the cloud, maybe part here. It's, it's, it's quite close, especially over in that side. This is quite a useful, useful colour to have for this painting. 
So what I'll often do if I've mixed this and it wasn't absolutely the color I was after, but it's still quite useful, I'd make a little pile of it there, drag some of the paint off, and just add some more to this one, knowing that I'll be able to use that color in the rest of the painting. So now with that darker tone, that kind of blends in pretty well. That's good to go. So now for this final color down here, this quite muted orange, we're gonna use red and a yellow to mix that. But of course with these we can't. So we're gonna to have to add a yellow and we're gonna use some cad yellow light. So because it's lighter, we can start with the white again. Oh, I've got a bit of yellow on there, that's okay. Okay, definitely, definitely too yellow. So we need to make it more towards orange. So we add some of the red. To some parts of this, that's quite nice. Quite a good color to have as a base. Again, I might need to go a bit lighter for it. So I'll keep this, a lot of this color. Add some more white to this pile. And this is starting to call what's called color strings. Color strings of when you have one mass tone of color and then you add slightly more, slightly more white. So you get a, a tonal range of colors, which is called a tonal string. You notice how that when you add white to a color, it brings out the purpley hues and knocks back the warmer yellows and the reds. So now when we look at that, we'll see that that is quite close there. It might need to be toned down a bit. So to tone down this color here, I'll add a bit of the burnt umber to it, only a small amount. And what that's just done is just mute it down. If you want to learn more about colour mixing and painting, have a look at my website at wilkemartschool.com.